more expect the comics and i'm back this time you're here to see my top five picks for new comic book day if you're interested in seeing my top five picks stay tuned for that intro <laughs> Alright, so welcome back. If you haven't already, please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Hit that bell notification so when I do put out some content, you get it in a timely fashion. Alright, so you're here to see my top 5 picks for New Comic Book Day on September 28, 2022. Sorry, I was not able to make a New Comic Book Day video last week. Um, I ended up working the weekend, so when it came down to it, I just didn't have time to uh, put out a video. And it was too bad because it was actually a pretty good week. So hopefully you guys um, went to the comic shop and picked out the stuff that you were, you know, looking forward to for that week. So uh, this week, yet again, it was a big week. Um, I think it's even a bigger week this week than last week. Uh, a lot of number ones, a decent amount of key books, um, good reads, and some really cool covers. So I'm going to give you my top five picks. I'm not going to make this a long video. I like to keep it. Pretty short. Uh, I'll start off with my honorable mentions, some cool covers, whatever you know, just caught my eye. So um, we're gonna start off with the honorable mentions this week, and um, I did find a pretty funny cover um, that I didn't know this was even a, a comic book, but uh, this is from American Mythology, and I saw this cover and I just instantly laughed. This is uh, Three Stooges Play Ball Special Number One. Um, I like the cover. I think it's the cover A. It's that really cool classic baseball photo cover to see um, Mo, Larry, and Cur Curly. Mo, Larry, yeah. Um, to see them hitting the ball, it was just just looks hilarious. So uh, that's my like, funny cover of the week. Um, I did see that uh, a publisher I've never heard of, Merck Publishing, coming out with a new number one called Born of Blood. Number one, um, really cool covers, nice artwork. Some of them are pretty risque, um, but if you see some of the art, I'll put a, nothing too risque, but I'll put a nice cover up there so you guys can check it out. Really great artwork from this uh, new number one. Um, let's see, three other honorable mentions you may be interested in. One is from Image Comics. It's called Flawed, number one. That just missed out of the top five. Um, you do got a pretty good collaboration between Chuck Brown and Prenzy. They, if you're not familiar, they used to be on the um, uh, Bitterroot and On the Stump. So, uh, just some of the titles you may be familiar with. We also got from Image, Old Dog Number 1, um, written and artwork done by Declan Shalvey. Um, big fan of his. Um, but I did read recently Time Before Time, and it like, it was okay. I read the first three issues and it kind of just like, I got lost. So that's why I'm not adding it to my honorable mention. But if you're interested in it, check it out. And um, my last honorable mention is coming from Boom Studios. And it's Power Rangers issue number 100. Legacy, you know, issue is pretty important. Issue 100. And I do believe there's a first potential um, new villain appearance. So uh, check that out as well. All right, so here we go. On to my top five picks for New Comic Book Day. I'm going to start with number five. All right, so number five this week is coming from DC. We got DC Horror Presents Sergeant Rock vs. Army of the Dead number one. You know, we're getting closer and closer to Halloween. You're going to start to see a lot more horror titles coming out. And this one sounds really good. Um, written by Bruce Campbell. Artwork done by Eduardo Riso. And... Um, <clears throat> Basically, takes place in 1944, so World War II, right at the end, in Berlin. Nazis are besieged on all fronts by Allied forces. Defeat is inevitable. But Hitler and his team of evil scientists attempt a last-ditch effort that may turn the tide of the war and rewrite history itself. A serum that resurrects their dead soldiers stronger than what they were in regular life and sends them back into the battlefield. Sounds like fun. You know, you're going to get Sergeant Frank Rock back in there in Easy Company. And uh, you're going to see some zombies, of course, right? Who's not going to want to read that? So that's my number five this week. Number four this week. 
we got from Image. We got 8 Billion Genies, issue number 5. It's been a fun read. Um, big fan of Charles Soule. We've got Ryan Brown on the artwork. Really good series so far, four issues in. Can't read, uh, wait to read issue number five. So this one takes place um, eight months after the, you know, the event when everyone on Earth acquired a genie in one wish. The world's become a very strange place if you've read this story, you know, series so far. And um, then we need a, what is that? We need a hero for these times. We need the idea, man. So we got a first appearance as well. So interesting. Um, so that's my number four this week. Number three this week, we got Batman Beyond the White Knight, issue number five. Obviously, artwork and writing done by Sean Murphy. Um, also done, you know, been a fantastic series. Four issues in. Can't wait to read issue number five. I do like the J. Scott Campbell cover. It looks fantastic. Um... There is also a really neat cover C. It's, a, I believe, a 1 in 25, and it has Blight on the cover. So I believe it's going to be Blight's first cover appearance. I don't know if it's going to be Blight's first appearance in the story. I don't know. But a really cool green and black cover. It almost looks like it would be glow in the dark. Um, so that's my number three this week. Number two, we got... Finally, the return of Nice House on the Lake. It's been, geez, it's been months. I feel like they're pulling a, a last Ronin right now. It's been months since we had an issue. Uh, obviously written by James Tynion. Artwork done by Alvaro Martinez Bueno. Um, so, Nice House on the Lake, number 10. It's a 12-part series. So, we're hopefully starting to wind down towards the end. Getting a, more of a direction of where the series is going to be going. Because I felt like... Every issue was introducing one of the characters and giving some information and backdrop of the characters. So hopefully now we're starting to find out how this plan is going to be going into motion. Like it says in the solicitation, the pieces are in place. The trap is sprung. Nora is in position to wrest control of the nice house from Walter. Unless, of course, something goes wrong. Of course, what could go wrong? So... Um, that's my number two this week. Um, my number one. It's not a Marvel book. Nope. No Marvel books hit the top five this week or honorable mentions. So this is that's uh, interesting. But um, for number one, we're going to be going to Aftershock Comics. We got it's a one shot. Hell is a squared circle issue number one, written by Chris Condone, artwork by Francesco Biagini. Um, is wrestling noir a genre? It is now. Ted the Irish Muska Walsh is a third tier wrestling heel with a problem himself. He's behind on rent, child support, and his career, but he thinks he can change things. As he attempts to take control of his life, his actions leave him with blood on his hands. Ted finds himself on the run from authorities in the darkness of his past. As Ted tries to escape his former self and build a new, better future, his mistakes come back to haunt him in the ring and out of it. So uh, that sounds like a really fun story. Um, I'm excited to read it. I feel like wrestling titles are just like really back in again. Um, so uh, I'm really excited to read this. This is my number one of the week. Let me know in the comments down below what books you're interested in. If you're going to pick up any of these books in my top five. And uh, that's it. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. We'll be back again next week for my top five picks. And until next time, more Xbox Comics.